Spreading his business wings next is Ryan Harris, who claims he has the solution to problems that many students and their parents face come semester break. Hi, my name is Ryan Harris. Um, I am currently um, the founder of Warehouse.com. Well, for you who don't know what Warehouse.com is, basically Warehouse.com uh, provides student storage service. It's a physical storage service. Um, especially for student market. Well, the idea comes about when um, I was still a student um, that um, a lot of us face a problem. We do not have storage every semester break. Uh, we have to force ourselves to throw away some stuff, um, call our parents all the way from other states. And some of us who live in Sabah and Sarawak, we have, they have to fork out. Um, extra for the baggage and that's why um, I decided that uh, it's best that somebody stood up and built up something for students. So that's pretty much how Warehouse.com was built up. Will the judges accommodate to Warehouse's great storage system idea? Let's hear Ryan pitch when we return. Welcome back to My EG Make the Pitch, where the worth of your creative business ideas is measured and reciprocated with a handsome sum to help you kickstart your business. Our final contestant of the day is Ryan Harris, who aims to relieve the minds of students and parents when it's time to balik kampung with his student storage service he calls Warehouse. Let's see what Ryan Harris has in store for our judges. Ryan Harris aims to relieve the minds of students and their parents when it's time to balik kampung with Malaysia's first student storage service called warehouse.com. I'm so happy that I'm here. Um, I made it to the top 30 right now and I really wish that I could move on to the next level and eventually win the grant to start my business. Uh, for now, um, I'm just going to bring what I have and I hope that that will be enough to convince the judges as I convinced the first round. Um, I think we have a, a lot of great startups here, a lot of great company. So I wish I just could do my best and just hope for the best and see if luck is on my side. Hi, I'm Ryan Harris, the founder of Warehouse.com, the first student storage service in Malaysia. Well, you might ask, how will this work? Well, it's easy. We have a website. Everything is going to be done virtually. They create an account online. They choose their services online. They pay online. And then what we will do is that we will send the box to them, give them a week or two to pack. Then we'll go back and pick up the box, keep for them. And then they have to update as their new location. Instead of them having to go back to their previous accommodation to take their boxes, we will send it to the new accommodation area. The obvious question is, you're only in business for a few months in a year when at the end of the semester, when the students go back to their hometown, mm -hmm. how about the rest of the year? Are you okay. in business? Um, we will be working for the ninth month um, every single year. Then there will be three months that there will be no business. But we'll be leveraging that with offering the uh, storage to public also. Can you go a little bit about the revenue model? Uh, okay. Um, Today, I'm pitching for 500,000 mm -hmm. and um, I would like to use the money to project for the next um, three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking at catering at 15,000 boxes per month mm -hmm. for the next nine months in term. <coughs> if you calculate that with the service charge we're charging, which is 60 ringgit, that will amount to 4.05 million per year. This, how, how much was it? You said 300 or 500,000? Sorry? 300,000. 500,000. 5, yes. Does that money also go into getting these uh, warehouses and uh, building up the storage space? Yeah, uh, currently uh, in the first year uh, and throughout the next three years, we will be outsourcing everything, including our logistic boxes and also renting the warehouse. The people who pick up those boxes are not your employees, but 
the outsourced contractors? Yeah, we're outsourcing for the next three years. So because what, what do you need the 500,000 for? Because I need to build up everything. Because it's Which actually... Which nothing. Because it's very hard to start a business um, in this area, especially with housing. In Malaysia, in order to secure a rental for warehouse in Malaysia, they are asking me for four months advance. If we're looking at my rental right now, if I wanted to have a 5,000 ringgit rental per month, mm. that's 20,000 ringgit. What so do you think is the average value per transaction? 60 bu bucks per box. Yes. So how many boxes do you think the average student will have? Um, I would think between one to two per student. Mm -hmm. If let's say, because you have to know, uh, there's different um, terms, years in a year. Mm -hmm. Some student in some particular universities will stay from January to December. There will be one year period. Mm -hmm. So they, have, they would have more staff because they stay over for one year. Mm -hmm. Some universities only stayed for six months period. So they will have lesser staff. So for your first uh, warehouse, how many universities are you serving? Uh, currently, we're looking at Klang Valley. For your information, there's over 120 education institutions in Klang Valley. Mm -hmm. But uh, since we are you know, focusing on 15,000 boxes, mm -hmm. we're looking at one of the biggest universities in Klang Valley, which is situated in Shah Alam. Mm -hmm. And um, also um, into teacher trainings, because teacher training has the most problem right now. Because most of their students mm -hmm. are from Borneo, Sabah and Sarawak. But the problem is you only earn 60 ringgit per box. You have to go to where the student is, mm -hmm. pick up the box, store it, and send it back to where she will be two months later. Mm. So the picking up, there's two deliveries. Yes. That would cost more than 60 ringgit. So we actually have everything in place. We just need the money to actually make it through it so we can show to in the investors or to public sure, that we can but my point is, the what your is your margin on the 60 ringgit yeah. transaction? Yeah. Okay. Mm. What is your margin? What is what your gross profit? Yeah. Uh, gross profit, um, that will be between 40 to 45. Ringgit? Yes. 15,000 boxes a month in a year. You're yeah. talking, because looking the at 135,000 boxes. Because the 60 Nine ringgit, mm. yeah, the 60 ringgit covers boxes. for two months. So, you know, they, they're in service for S the next two months. Still yeah. 75,000 boxes. Yeah. All together. So you are, you are estimating 100% market share. 100% yeah. of the students would yeah. need this service. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. The best. So actually, the session that you just went through was not as bad as you expected it to be. Yes, after hearing other people and seeing other people, I think I had a really great time. Um, though there's a lot of questions, but um, I think that's a learning process and I love it. Now, um, what are you going to do tomorrow? Because you know, if you're in a business, especially if it starts up, it's day in, day out, that's all you do, you build your business. So, what are your plans for tomorrow or the day after that? What are you going to do next for your business? Um, like, they were asking about the figures, so I'm going to start going out to search for the figures. You know, I have a strong feeling that I'm coming back, so I think the informations are going to be worth for my next round. Okay then, have fun number 20.